This is how to crochet a plaid dress ball part four. We are on row four and it is going to be our last row of increases. So I'm going to add two stitches into the first stitch and then I'm going to add one stitch into each of the next two stitches. And I'm going to repeat that all the way around. If you were to read it in a pattern, it would read two single crochet, comma, single crochet in two. That's the shortest version. Some designers like to add a little bit more words to it to for clarification, but um, I like to keep it short and sweet because it's just me, but sometimes I keep it too short and too sweet. So it can confuse people, but at a bare minimum, that is the information you need in a pattern. And that's what they mean. Two SC is two single crochet. And then SC in two means one single crochet over two stitches or in the next two stitches. I'm really not trying to make this more confusing and I apologize if I am. Um, patterns are just they intimidate a lot of people, and I'm trying to prove that they're not they are not that intimidating. You just have to read it out loud. So if it says this, just say it out loud, and hopefully my videos can help you understand what patterns sound like, or what directions sound like when they're written in a pattern. Oh, but I'm going to stop rambling now. Uh, part 5 is going to be next, and for this we are going to stop increasing and just put one stitch in every single stitch around, and that is going to give us the tube shape. So I will see you in part 5, and be sure to like and follow!